game five it, set. Like. It's a valid. It's a valid strat. Oh, so their their first set in winners was game five. Yeah, it's like a really really stressful like close set. Now you're just immediately getting thrown back into it again, and now this one's gonna hurt even more if Kenny loses because like it's almost like he won, but did he really win? Yes, <laughs> he's, he's out of the turn. Yeah, and I like the way K9 like, crouched at the very beginning there. It was almost like he knew that uh, Candy was going to approach with that forward air. Or at least kept his uh, yeah, low profile just yeah. in general pretty busted. So. Yeah, yeah. Especially versus Candy's play style, facing a lot of backers. Crouch from Sheik should uh, oh. avoid that most of the time. Fortunately, though, um, not going to get his follow up. If, if you see your opponent is not teching fastball fair as Fox on stage, like that. That's when you just go ham. <laughs> that that's like the F2 locks to like fastball up airs to just the world. Like you know, can if Candy got his combo right, like Kani would should be at like 70 plus percent right now. Unfortunately, that is not the case, and Kani's got a little bit of a lead right now. It can be uh, erased pretty quickly, as you just mentioned. Fox has those devastating combos. It's not looking that way though. Four throw to bouncing fish. I don't even know if that was still a percent where it like connects. Uh, okay. Yeah, but this actually, if, if Kenny can get back to stage, this is actually the scary part of Sheik yeah. in this matchup. But when <laughs> she's actually at 45 and Fox has all his rage, she's still able to be comboed, but she'll die early too. So, if Kenny gets like the right vortex setup, Kenny can just die on town right now. I honestly feel like this is death percent. Yeah, yeah, this is a like, this is a. He doesn't game. even need a, a vortex. Oh no! Oh. Oh. He went for the hard stuff. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. Now he has him at the ledge. Oh, what are uh -oh. you doing? Oh, he's dead? No, he's not dead, but he put himself in a terrible position. He, yeah, he died for that. I, I'm going to call it missing, but he definitely meant to ledge him, I think, because I don't know why he would just run off stage like that. Oh, I love the little dance around. He tur turned back and forth and still got the grab. A little bit of mind game from yeah. out from Candy. Especially since he was still invincible anyway. So, okay, I had to, like, respect him. Oh. Oh, he missed his chance. Yeah, that's just the thing I notice with Kenny sometimes. He just... Like, basic box, like, uh, vortex subs, like, you know, up tilt, landing traps into up airs. He just isn't super, super consistent on the, At least, like, versus K9. And that definitely... It, it bites him in the end. Oh, man, this is not a good spot. Box at the ledge, and K9 oppressing him. No, tech. he didn't. Yeah. Tech rolled in. Yeah. At, at the top level, as Fox, when you, especially if you don't get an uncheckable there, you have to just wait your opponent's tech yeah. option because. So basically, Candy just oh, over overshot and overcommitted. Yeah, it's it's almost like he just guessed yeah. instead of reacting. Actually reacting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cross him there. Okay, he gets a throw. Okay, he has to hold Can at the ledge here. At least do something substantial with the stage control he has right now. And unfortunately, Can just does the sheet classic fair from ledge. Uh, this is an easy hit. No, he goes for bouncy fish instead. Okay. Yeah, it seems like Candy is having a hard time. Uh, oh man, barely avoiding that setup. He's just avoiding. Uh, Having a hard time edge guarding K9. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what Candy can do now. Almost full rage on him. Gets the down there air into go. the up That's airs. Here want. we go. Oh, see, there it is. Situations like that. Yeah. That was that was it. That was the up till he needed to reset again. Yeah. So what he should have done there, I guess. Correct me if I'm wrong. He should have up tilted in the different direction or waited just a little bit longer. Yes. Yeah. Or. Even just position himself better to yeah. stay directly under K9. Mm -hmm. All right, but these techs okay, keeping this is Candy alive. Oh. No, 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 he's fine, he's fine. Oh a great tech. Lord. Another one. Let, let him trap? No, that fair wasn't, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That fair was, uh, not what you should go for. I, like, I don't, I, if he's, unless he's going for, like, High fares to drag him down as like a reset. I just think you just go for up air. I I see him do that a lot. Like in situations yeah. where like you you just go for up air. He likes to do fair instead. Yeah. Overall, I feel like in that at least in that first game, 
Candy had a lot of situations where he could have um, capitalized and gotten a, a much, like, extended his combo more or even gotten oh. the kill. And there goes K9. Wow. Right. So that <laughs> was one of the worst trades K9 could have <laughs> ever gotten. But we will take that all day to the bank. Especially oh as the Fox Lord. main. K9 going really deep off stage. Yeah. Could have backfired, like, horribly there. Yeah. And almost got another trade. Um, yeah, it looked like last time K9 did a fair from ledge and it traded with Candy's move. Then he got fair spiked for it. Almost died to it again. But, uh, I don't know. E even outside game that early stock, I, I still feel like uh, Candy is just continually losing neutral here. Yeah, but he can afford losing neutral at least a couple of times right now since he's got a full stock lead. Jabs from K9. Forcing Candy back to the ledge. Uh oh. This is bad. Uh, hey. Yeah, consistent tech here from Candy. Yeah, you keep him alive. You got him, man. You're a Fox main. That's yeah, like, it's like, <laughs> like it's almost like yeah, what's the point of playing Fox yeah, if, you, if you can't tech? <laughs> if you're not gonna learn how to do this, because otherwise you just die for free off stage. Yeah, it seems like um, what what Candy's struggling with right now is that he can get K9 up into the air, but once he gets the like the the one two juggles with either the up airs or the up tilt. He's, he's going for, like, the incorrect follow-ups yeah. afterwards. It's like you said, he's guessing instead of reacting. Here's some, oh. okay, here's some good fair spikes. Starting to get some decent tech chases, too. And he's actually working with the Rage Yas here. Okay. Uh, kind of risky illusion there on stage, but not going to be a hard punch from K9. He's going to go deep Ooh. again. <laughs> nice. Last time, he uh, traded fair and died to Firefox. Not going to trade with that bouncy fish. That so was, that was good really words. nice setup too. I mean, he he went all the way down there with that nair, and you know, long lasting hitbox. If Candy had tried to recover any sooner, he would have gotten hit. But you know, still able to put out the bouncing fish afterwards. And now he's starting to get dropped the ledge here again. Can kind of the pressure that he needs to make this comeback happen? Okay, slowly approaching here. Candy trying to dash past his shield, gets some pretty decent shield pressure there. Can shield looking really low. Ooh, okay, so a lot of things people may not know is that when she does that, like, flip into the stage from the bounce fish, she's, her, her box is completely exposed. You don't have to respect that, like, flip animation. You can actually just hit her when she does that. A lot of people see it and they're just like, oh, dang, she did a flip. I gotta, like, I gotta stand here. But you can just hit her. All right, there you have it. So K9 oh. already pulling himself back into the lead in a back throw. The DI mix up yeah. into the bounce and fish. Yeah, rough, rough. It, that one was... I don't know if he mixed up his DI because he actually still DI'd away from the back throw. It was yeah. just like instant. And yeah, again, yeah, yeah. he just he didn't press easy. Just got him. Like, yeah, Can just Can just kind of went for it. Like you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you super quick before you can DI like or really like react to something. And then I'm just gonna throw out the bounce through. <laughs> K9 brought that back from the depths of hell, man. He yeah. died literally within the first 10 seconds. That, that, that's <laughs> what that I. That's game. what I meant when, uh, even though Candy got the first stock like that, he was still. I feel like you're still just losing the K9 neutral over and over. Yeah, definitely. That's a uh, part of the like thing. Even when you're like you get an early stock like that, if you're still not really out, quote unquote, outplaying your opponent. <laughs> We gotta say quote unquote. Yeah, after, yeah, after yeah. Locus. Thanks, Locus. <laughs> it, it's almost like, okay, you got that stock, but like, what are you gonna do after that? You're still not really making reads or getting hard punishes. It's like, it's only a temporary lead. Or even, me. or even just dropping punishes, because I mean, they're like, I, it's it's been the theme of so far this set. Yeah, and this is a rough field too, especially after going oh. game five and winning the winner set. It's like you play him again and lose, and then it's like really dominant display right here. Oh, oh I'm not the, sure. the reappearing uh, hit of um, what's it called? Vanish. Vanish. <laughs> really? That's what happened. Yeah, it like hit him, but I, he went into free fall. I don't know why. Huh. Weird. It, it was a really weird exchange. We but Kanan's going, going really deep off stage with edge guards in general. Like, I feel like there's multiple things he could be hitting Candy with down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the way he's positioning himself. He just happened to be vanished that time. Yeah, I did on the fourth row, but not going to be a super hard oh follow-up. Oh, yeah. God. I know Kanan, like, at this point, it, he's Can you looking for, he the, for a dare. Yeah, he's looking <laughs> like, for a dare. <laughs> that would have been clean. 
Honestly. He's had a few opportunities to go for it, actually. He's just He's not doing it. And it's actually versus Fox is a uh, Firefox. Uh, Dare trade oh is, is perfectly fine because you don't get sent uh, down from your dare. It's like you just get bounced up from the Firefox, but they still get spiked. Yeah, you can see. Oh, oh no. Too deep. Yeah, you can see K9 is trying to recreate that same situation from the first stock of this game over and over again. He's just going as low as possible because he's noticed Candy is trying to recover from that low to avoid any mm. potential, like, gimp from mm. K9. But k is just chasing him that deep yeah. and the, then the, trying to get him with Vanish or something else. Yeah. The thing that Candy has to do is not only go low, but he has to change the angle that he's doing his Firefox because since he keeps going low and straight up, k is actually positioning himself around that, like where he's going straight up and he's just hitting him every time. And if, believe it or not, Fox has a bunch of angles he can do his Firefox. But, uh... That's the rough, rough feel, man. <laughs> so K9 successfully winning in the run back. Yeah, another, three another 3 0. This actually might be the scariest form of K9 to yeah, play, speed, especially speed for Nico. Running through losers. <laughs> Nico really, 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 really Does hates not like playing versus Sheik. Specifically K9 Sheik, just because. I don't know. I don't know what it is.